All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin Bryhop, and this is another episode of the Unboxing Authority. On this episode, we have a computer vacuum cleaner. We're gonna try this out and see how it works. All right, so I have never used one of these before. So this is gonna be very interesting. I hope I don't have to go grab an extension cord. I might have to do that. Okay, so here we go. We got vacuum cleaner. Oh, interesting. It charges. It's chargeable with five volts uh, USB DC charging current. It's got a two, 20 amp hour lithium battery. The size is 65 by 65 by 185 millimeters. Its weight is th 356 grams. Okay, so here we go. We are going to open this up and try it out. So let's let's go ahead and get this open. It looks like it'll open without a knife. Look at that. Now here's what comes in the box. We got uh, instruction manual. We've got a USB cable, so we don't need any power extension cords or anything. And we have a bag with the vacuum cleaner inside and a bunch of vacuum cleaner attachments. So that's pretty cool. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open this up and get it out and take a look at it here and see what we've got. Okay, so on the charging side, it says blow. This is where the air comes out. And the vacuum side is what you point down towards whatever you're vacuuming. And it says absorb on the vacuuming side. So we're going to go ahead and stick an attachment in there. Now, because we're going to be vacuuming a keyboard, I'm thinking that we're going to want to use this brush attachment definitely. Okay, so we have three separate attachments here. We have one attachment that will put us in a narrow point if we want to suck out with a narrow point. We have a brush attachment which I think is going to be the best one for cleaning keyboard with. And we also have this sharp edged um, attachment as well just for normal cleaning. And they're easy to insert and remove. There we go. Now look at this. When you want to clean it out, you move it um, this way. And you can open it up. Look what we got in here. So our motor and everything is in this side. Is that side the switch? Yeah. So this has a switch. And then the other end, which has the accessory, the, the uh, absorbing side, has this um, filter. So you can change your air filter, clean it out, whatever you need to do for maintenance. So to charge the unit, you just use this included USB cable. Once the vacuum cleaner's had a chance to charge, simply unplug it from the USB cable. Get your keyboard ready that you plan on cleaning. Hold the vacuum cleaner in your hand and hold down the button for five to six seconds.
Look at how much better this keyboard looks after we're finished. All right, so let me tell you what I think about this vacuum cleaner, okay? I think that it is an amazing idea and it's very, very good for cleaning keyboards. Now, this brush attachment here seems to be just the perfect size and shape to get around keys on a keyboard, so that's pretty awesome. Um, it seems like it's a very powerful vacuum cleaner, very powerful compact vacuum cleaner. And so this actually makes it a lot easier to clean because normally when you're cleaning computers and this sort of thing, you have to remove parts and take them out and get an air compressor and you know, do a whole bunch of work. But with this unit here, um, I would be able to clean computers right where they are uh, without having to take them apart, taking the keys off, this sort of thing and I would be able to remove the majority of the dust and dirt using this. Now obviously you might want to wipe down the keyboard afterwards with something wet uh, that's not going to damage the keyboard that will you know remove anything that's stuck on there that's not just going to lift off with a vacuum cleaner but as for you know just keeping things neat and tidy I mean imagine if maybe you have a girlfriend coming over your parents someone to impress and you want to clean everything and you want to save time this is a good way to keep things neat and tidy around your house. All right, and at your business place as well. Well, thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to Jesus Bless You. Please click the links in the description of the video. Consider giving to our Patreon. Go to ChristianCourts.com and all the other fun stuff. All right, and uh, make sure you check out ChristianCourts.com and Blazing Hot Internet. <laughs>
and you want to write down everything you learn and uh, they've got like a lot of copyright stuff so you, they don't want you copying the videos or anything so I can't say to do that but uh, basically you want to get through the program and get to the end and then if you know you paid for it and everything and registered it in your name they give you a fancy certificate or something at the end I guess that shows you completed the school and passed their tests but learning that learning the basics of that fills in all the gaps and gives you a good starting point before you learn law.